With a varsity football career spanning high school and college, Bentley finished as a collegiate All-American. Bentley can add another All-American nod to his mantle. The a and running back was named a first-teamer by Hero Sports. He's the only player from the SWAC to be on the first-team offense. He rushed for a school record 1,483 yards and 18 touchdowns this past year. He also set eight school records during his time on the hill with the Bulldogs. At Gunnersville, he wore number two, while twice rushing for over 300 yards in a game. In one of those games, he scored seven touchdowns. Another game, he rushed the ball 44 times. Coach Dale Pruitt of Albertville once said of Jordan, he's the toughest high school player he has seen. Defense is where he really excels. He breaks on the ball as well as any player. A quote from Shannon Allen of the Sand Mountain Reporter. It might be years before Gunnersville or Marshall County sees another player like him, if we ever do. While the Aggie band played at the snap of the ball, the harder JB played and the more he scored. The 5A Alabama High School Back of the Year in 2015 and Super 12 of Alabama. As the varsity starter, he and his teammates never lost a Marshall County game. They never lost a game at home and won 28 regular season games in a row and the overall career record of 34 and four. When rushing and scoring, he holds all the records at GHS and Marshall County with 5,969 yards 104 touchdowns, and a state record of 321 carries without a lost fumble. Next, it was off to Alabama A&M with his academic average of 92.6. Enjoy these highlights from the ESPN coverage of the Magic City Classic. The Consensus All-American holds the career record of eight touchdowns plus a two-point conversion in the annual battle with Alabama State in the Magic City Classic at Legion Field, Birmingham. Now look at this. Is this targeting? <laughs> Watch, Watch <laughs> Bentley. When he gets there, he's going to lower that helmet. <laughs> Woo! Just driving forward. Jordan Bentley just continues to lose <laughs> the stickers <laughs> off the top of his helmet. He says, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Continue. Defeat Jordan Bentley on the inside, outside for the score. Four rushes, 25 yards. It was all Jordan Bentley. Get that man a new sticker. He deserved it. <laughs> Hardcore running. Well, he had a great performance last year, but he topped it. He leveled up today 183 yards. And AM, he gave them their first points since 9.55 to go back in the second quarter. And if you're a senior, that's how you class it. 35 carries, three TDs. They pitch it to Jordan Bentley. Bentley won't be denied. In for the two-point conversion. All nice you have to do is just give it to number one. Nice play with the shovel pass. Fake a little sprint. Take two steps to your right. Toss it forward, and you know the way that Bentley's been bouncing off of Hornet defenders. He was not going to be denied getting it to the end zone. In the Magic City Classic, Jordan Bentley 
What a performance by this young man. Helped will his team to victory. Every time they needed him, he came through. As a senior, Bentley enjoyed a record-breaking season, claiming seven Alabama A&M season and career rushing and scoring records. The first team All-American All-SWAC Offensive Player of the Year in Magic City Classic MVP graduated in three and a half years with honors, 3.79 GPA in civil engineering. He was one of four HBCU players from the state of Alabama to be invited at the expense of the NFL to Miami, Florida for workouts for the NFL that were canceled at the last minute because of COVID. Although contacted later about pro football, he chose to go on with his life as a senior project civil engineer with Weber Construction in Dallas, Texas. His career was in full swing and he was now married to his high school sweetheart, Anna Kate Yancey. Ladies and gentlemen, our inductee, Jordan Bentley.